Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. It's great to have you all here today, whether you are a current customer or checking us out for the first time. My name is Ben and today we are going to explore customer onboarding as part of the customer lifecycle process and how Apply is the Essentials, one of our latest products for small to medium sized businesses, fits into that process. We also have a case study to share and we'll also show you a demo uh, to show you how it all works. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping notes. We encourage questions, so please ask them via the side panel on the right hand side. We'll try and answer during the presentation or we'll leave them to the end um, just based on relevance really. Uh, also, uh, if you wish to be contacted by us, um, there will be a poll at the end, whether that's about Predator Watch as a whole or uh, Apply Z Essentials, which we're running through today. So today I am joined by, and you guys have to put your cameras on now, um, I'm joined by Chimera, who's our Apply Easy product manager. And we're also joined by Caitlin, who is our Apply Easy product specialist. So what we'll do today is we'll basically be talking about the importance of having a robust customer onboarding process in place to help protect your business. We'll talk about how Apply Easy can help, how it can reduce the burden of customer onboarding, while also improving your customer's experience with you. So good morning, Caitlin and Shamira. Good morning, thanks for having us. No worries. So as always, um, if we jump onto the next slide, uh, just a bit of a short introduction to Creditor Watch. Um, so yeah, uh, we are Australia's leading commercial credit bureau. We have over 55,000 customers. Now we have customers of all sizes, ranging from small business all the way through to the large public companies and the banks. The benefits of having a vast array of different size companies is that they all use and contribute to our platform, uh, giving us and our customers, i.e. you, a uh, very broad insight into the health of Australian businesses. Importantly as well, 90% of these 55,000 customers are unique, unique to us, meaning there's data that we're sharing with you that you just cannot access anywhere else. So more about why today is important. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the news. There's currently a multitude of events uh, that are occurring today, including rising inflation, rising interest rates, a slowing economy, and global and geopolitical uncertainties. Now, with these in mind, it's never been, and we believe, never been more important to make sure you are conducting your due diligence on all your customers and even suppliers so you know exactly who you're dealing with. This, in turn, will allow you to make more informed decisions whether that's to extend credit terms, deliver goods, provide a service, or enter into a contract with a new supplier. As many of you will, will attest to, we do try and take care of our customers by, by providing them great customer service, innovative products, and the best tools and solutions in the industry. With that in mind, let's jump into our discussion today around Apply Easy Essentials. So Caitlin, if you could please start us off, um, could you provide some insight into the process when a credit team member is looking to onboard a new customer? What checks are involved? Are they using any tools, platforms to complete this process? Yeah, definitely. So generally a credit team will be across the processes that you can see on the screen at the moment. So you're onboarding, monitoring and collecting. Within each of these areas, every business will have their own processes, but generally it involves sending out your potential to your potential clients the credit application form. And once you once you receive the completed application back, um, doing your due diligence and processing it. Now I do say completed application though, because at this stage, this is when a lot of people find they're going back and forth with their customers a lot because they're not actually receiving all the information, there's missing information, information's incorrect and so on. So it can be quite time consuming to just get that completed application back. Uh, and once they do, that's when they go through the due diligence stage. So they're uh, assessing the information provided by the customer, they're assessing their credit worthiness um, and the limits requested and all of that, um, all of checking all of that information. And then in the meantime, during this process, there's usually other people in the businesses that need to be um, kept up to date. So you've got your sales team um, who you're needing to constantly like keep up to date because they're ready to get goods out and start their process. So after all of that, and after finally bringing the customer actually on board, it's then important for the credit teams to then monitor these businesses so they can stay vigilant and on top of any changes that may happen. So I've summarized that quite a bit, but at a high level, that's the processes that the credit teams handle day to day. 
yeah there's a lot of things that go go on during that process and yeah thank you for that insight and Chimera, when developing this latest edition of Applyzy, of course you've built it from scratch and you've taken on customer feedback to help, I guess, help address some of the issues that, or processes that Caitlin has just mentioned. Could you delve a little bit deeper and kind of explain how Applyzy can automate uh, the credit application process? Are there best practices as well? Um, what happens if steps aren't followed? What are the risks? If you wouldn't mind um, yeah, sharing your thoughts. Yes, Ben. We're not only looking at the customer pain points when we're building Apply Easy. We're coming to this new Apply Easy with more than 10 years of credit application knowledge with our existing Apply Easy product. So we gathered all that knowledge plus all the experience we got from the market and the industry to make sure the credit managers get the smoothest process together with their customers to go through this credit journey. If I start from the beginning of getting your application in place, in Apply Easy, we come up with best practice applications, credit applications for the certain types of businesses, and you don't really have to create them from the scratch. Go through the painful process of identifying all the information to be captured because you have a ready-made platform, yet configurable to your needs so you can customize, add your own information, once you know that this information is crucial for customers. And on top of that, when your customers comes in to fill credit application, a lot of things can go wrong or application process can be lengthened if they have to find information, fill those and credit managers has to verify them. To avoid that, we autofill a lot of information because being a credit bureau, you have, you have access to a lot of company information, director information, Etc. We will be refilling them. Your customers just have to type your business, their business, and we will fill most of the application for them, and they can add on top of that. And this will resolve a lot of the accuracy issues credit managers have to deal with after applications being submitted. And once it's submitted as well, we automated all the notification process, receiving your the acknowledgements by their customers, credit manager getting notified when the applications comes in, as well as the approval reject state stages as well. The business can set up all these e email templates and our system automatically send them to the relevant parties, which not only make the process easier, but it makes every email uniform and looks everything very professional as well. On top of that, when the credit manager credit application comes in. As Caitlin mentioned, credit manager has to do a lot of due diligence, go check, assess their credit worthiness, et cetera, and to find a lot of information. To make it easier, we automatically include their credit reports with the credit application. By the time it comes to your credit application inbox, it accompanies the credit report with a lot of additional information Credit Watch can provide on top of that to make their credit assessment easier. If someone wants to even take a recommendation, we have a recommendations engine which is very powerful, which checks number of elements for their credit worthiness and provide a recommendation on whether you should approve, reject, or further assess this application based on the, their company information, how they're paying, other customers as well as what things around this entity itself. And going even a further step, if you're receiving a large amount of credit applications, we can fully automate the approval or rejection process and allow you to only focus on a limited amount of application, of course, with your risk appetite and how many applications you receive, we can fully automate that process as well. And again, as Caitlin monitors, mentioned the credit application process doesn't end once you approve or reject the application. You have to make sure you monitor the business throughout the credit journey and make sure their credit worthiness remains on a level that you can still give the goods and wait for money to come in. With our credit watch automated monitoring and alerting systems, once you approve and add their customers into your watch list, they will be automatically monitored and you will be alerted on any changes to the business. 
So this all this automation comes with Apply Easy as a credit application management platform accompanied by all the other features, credit watch offers to monitor your customers. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean that that point around you know monitoring customers after they apply. Look, someone could be absolutely fine today, but we know that potentially they could have problems in six months, eighteen months down the track. So yeah, very important point to to monitor um, any I guess existing customers, but future customers that do come through your credit application process. And it sounds like through Apply Easy, what we're trying to do is take the hard work out of the the, the process. Um, and this kind of leads me on to my next question to Caitlin, because uh, you do work with customers day in, day out as a product specialist for ApplyEasy. Um, could you just run us through why ApplyEasy is such a popular product for credit managers or for accounts receivable managers? And I think you might have an example to share as well, a real life example of one of our clients who um, has moved to ApplyEasy Essentials recently. Yeah, so there's a few reasons. Um, Every business who extends credit or payment terms to their customers will have some sort of onboarding process in place. And with the economy the way it is at the moment, credit managers know how crucial it is to uh, do their due diligence properly and take a cautious approach at that onboarding stage so that they can um, mitigate any future risk. So when using Apply Easy, a credit report is generated at the time the application is submitted as well as a recommendation like Shamira was mentioning. So based on their f a few main things like payment defaults, adverse directorship, we'll flag them for you. Um, so that runs instantly once the application is submitted. So you're getting all of that criteria as soon as you view their application. And then that leads me on to my next point is that it saves so much time. So credit managers, they don't have time um, or any spare time to go back and forth with customers because they've got the wrong ABN or the, the applicant's forgotten to note the accounts payables email address. So Apply Easy validates the business details when they're going through the application process. So you know once it's been submitted, you're getting the correct information. And then we also have mandatory fields. So all of that crucial information that you need will make sure that it's all the applicant provides all of that when they're submitting and then eliminates so much back and forth between the customers um, at that stage of assessing. And then, yeah, I do have an example. We have a client who's in the, if they're a construction company, uh, they previously had a manual process, uh, which was really time consuming. So they had a paper-based application. They were prone, prone to errors, they were missing information, and then it just required the team to go back and forth all the time. So Apply Easy has helped them from an online application point of view because their data validations, there's drop down boxes with different options, and then all the mandatory fields. So it's ensuring that the customers have included all of that necessary information, um, but also in the right format. So once it's once the application is submitted, it's um, it can be approved as quickly as possible because it's it's all there, everything that you need to to get through to that approval process. The electronic signatures has reduced time the um, time for their customers to process the application rather than downloading, signing and scanning back. And then, like I mentioned, the automated credit checks. So this has eliminated that manual process that they're having to do um, after the applicant has submitted their application. So it's all there instantly um, once it all um, is submitted. So their experience with Apply Easy has had a positive impact um, for their business. They've reduced their application processing time to under five minutes an application. Their customers have spent less time completing their forms. And then it's actually saved their credit team, obviously, all that time from following up and going back and forth and running those manual checks. But they were previously weren't able to tackle those complex applications because they just didn't have enough time to um, give them the attention that they needed to. So now they've got that um, time available that they can spend and then look into depth and um, make better decisions about those applications that are a bit more in depth. Yeah, nice. It sounds like happy credit team, happy customers and happy sales team. <laughs> Um, Chimera, so a question for you. If a business forgets a step when assessing a credit application, or maybe let's say they have different team members who are doing different things in different ways, is there a way that we can help with that? Yeah, that's a very good question. Assessing credit application is a very crucial step because you're basically giving the goods and waiting for money to come later, and you need to make sure you identify the right customers to give credit and to do this process efficiently what can happen in a credit managers life 
daily life, as Caitlin explained earlier, it can be very overwhelming because you get the new applications coming in, you get the customers inquiring about what happens to my application and all the other things. That's easily, they can miss the steps to validate and assess the credit application. Despite you going into the different credit bureaus, looking at the information, sometimes credit managers may take a guess. And that can go really wrong if you actually give a credit to a non-credit worthy customer. We've seen this daily with our customers, sort of credit applications coming through, what application flags by our systems as the fraudulent applications. And there's various scenarios, the credit manager just by looking at the application may not identify without the other support. And with that risk of not identifying the right credit worthy customers, you may end up giving the credit to some non credit worthy customers. And by not doing this whole process properly step by step, you actually become non compliant as well. If some issue arises and you have to seek for assistance or you have to go to your insurances, the main questions they ask is, did you do all the due diligence? Did you check all these things before giving the credit to this customer? And why you ended up giving credit to this customer? And if you cannot defend what you did and you assess credit in an acceptable manner, you have problems recovering your money and your insurance premiums can go significantly higher, which is a very, very high risk. We see our customers telling that our ins insurances kept on complaining because of these assessment criteria. Now with the apply easy, we are covered because we assessed everything one could assess and business actually went into an unfortunate situation because of the other unavoidable factors rather than we had a loophole in assessing the credit. As well as the other thing, assessment takes a long time. Customers get annoyed as well because they are waiting to get the credit. They want to run their business. They may as well end up with one of your competitors because you have too many applications and you actually taking the proper step to assess, which takes weeks, if not months, to get a result. So all these risks are around when assessing the credit applications. Either you may go wrong or you may take a longer time, which is not accept acceptable by your customers. Great. Yeah, thanks for those insights, Chimura. Um, now, I believe, Caitlin, you'd like to take us through a short demonstration of Apply as the Essentials. Yeah, definitely. Let me just grab the screen up. There we go. Can everybody see that? Beautiful. Okay, so this is our Apply Easy Essentials. Uh, what you can see up here, this is the link that we will build uh, for you. So this won't change, and this is what you can then paste onto your website. You can send it out to customers in an email. Uh, it won't change, so you know they're always going to be taken to your application. We'll have your logo in here, your color in your branding, so it'll all match. And then what you're seeing on the screen now is our welcome page. So we're just letting the applicant know what they'll need to be able to submit the application in one hit. So we'll have a read through and if we're all happy with this, we'll go and apply now. So the great thing about Apply Easy is that it's talking to Credit Watch the whole time. So as soon as we start typing in a business name, it's starting to suggest which business where um, we are. So we simply select the business name and it's populating the ABN, ACN, registered business name and some other details that I'll show you as we go through. Just putting credit on a watch. Uh, the other thing to mention as well is the platform is mobile friendly. So as soon as I drag my screen in, you'll see that all the fields are dynamic. So you can be on a laptop, a tablet, a smartphone, and it'll, it'll work just as well. So everybody on the road um, can apply on their phone. We also have mandatory and non-mandatory fields. So all of that crucial information we'll make sure we capture. Um, and then the nice to haves we'll leave as optional. Uh, what are we up to? Registered address. So this, again, we're talking to Credit Watch the whole time. So we've got the addresses on file. The applicant simply needs to click it and it will populate that address down there. We also have billing and delivery addresses. So if they're the same, they can leave it as is and continue next. If they're different, then they can toggle that to yes and complete that. 
We also have a save for later button. So if they're in the middle of it and they need to, they need to go find help or they're interrupted by a phone call, they can click this save for later link and it'll email them a copy of um, a link that will take them back to the same spot in this application. So they won't need to go back in and complete all that information again. Otherwise, they can continue through. So what you're seeing here, this is our best practice template. Um, we, what we generally do is we get you to provide us a copy of your credit application and then all of those uh, custom kind of fields specific to your business, then we can add in as well. Um, however, this is what we have here um, as a best practice essentials template, which you can use. We've got a phone number and then email address. Oops. and position. So again, all of these fields are mandatory. So they'll have to be completed to go through next. We've got our accounts payable. So again, I'll just pop in those details. If we try to go through next, it won't let us. That's just an example of the mandatory field. Over to our director details. So again, this is where we're saving a lot of time because we are talking to Creditor Watch. We simply click this pre-fill function and it will populate the directors. So a couple of clicks and it's populated all their information and then we just need to fill in the blanks. There we go. Uh, if you have any files that you collect during the application process, we can have a file upload function in here. So if you like your customers to sign a, sign a guarantee, then we can have that in there as a download upload. Um, all they need to do is select and then select the file and it will populate in there. Next, our credit details. So here they're going to enter the amount of credit that they're requesting versus their estimated monthly purchases and then their bank details. Um, and we have the option as well to, uh, we don't have to have all of these fields mandatory, um, so we can definitely turn those off for you. So if you just wanted that to be optional for your customers, we can do that as well. So now we're at the confirmation page. The applicant just goes through here, double checks all the information that they've entered is correct. If they need to go back and change anything, they can. Otherwise, if everything is all good, they scroll down here and this is our e-signature section. So this is where we'll have a copy of your terms and conditions. So they can click in here and it will open up to a new tab. Assuming they agree, they just put in their details here. Position. And then they're confirming um, that they are an authorised person to enter this agreement on behalf of the applicant. So we'll click that and confirm application submitted. So from the applicant's point of view, it's all done now. It was super quick because most of that information we pre-filled from Creditor Watch. They've received an email with that reference number as well. And then we notified the person associated with the account to let them know that they've received a new application. So now if I jump into the inbox, so when you, it's all through the Credit Watch login, so it's all stored within the same places that you generally do your credit checks. We jump straight in here into the applications window, and then you can see the applications um, in here. So this is your inbox. So the first thing you'll see is date, reference number, you can see the account, the applicant, how much credit they've requested. And this is where we mentioned before where we offer a recommendation. So this is where we'll flag those main things for you um, and it gives you a quick snapshot of where, what, where that business is. So when I go into it, I'll show you where it will show you um, the why we've made that decision. And then it's always best practice to go into their credit report and do your due diligence through there. Uh, so let's jump into this one that I did earlier. So here, um, first thing you can see is the tabs across the top. We can see all of the tabs that the applicant just went through and completed when they did the application. Any file uploads will also show in there with a hyperlink for you to open, download, save. And then the confirmation is the person who has signed off that application. So if we jump back to our overview, um, over here is the credit report. 
So we always give you a copy, a PDF copy of the credit report because that way it's all stored on here. Later down the track, if you need to go down um, back into it and just check where that, where that business was at the time that you approved their application, then you can see it in here. So this provides you all of that information that you need to be able to make an informed decision whether you're going to approve them and if so, how much credit are you going to approve them for. So that's all available in there. Down here, we'll let you know the recommendation reasons um, so we can set up some rules. Um, for example, we have, um, if there's any payment defaults, then we'll flag that for you. If you if it says approve, you kind of know it's ticked off some of those main boxes. And if it says reject, um, the business is, de is deregistered and you don't want to work with them. Uh, so say we've done our due diligence and we're happy with everything, we're going to approve this application. We just update the decision over here. Approved. We can add in any notes in here, any account IDs that you have that you would like to append to this application, you can. It reminds us of the credit limit that the applicant has requested, but let's say we're actually only going to approve them for 8,000 because that's our limit. And you simply save the status. So now we have an automatic email that shoots out to the applicant, lets them know that they've been approved and someone will be in contact shortly. And then when we go back into our inbox, um, the decision will be updated to approve. So you can. All, we also have a, P, uh, sorry, a PDF of the application. So you can download that if you'd like to save that elsewhere as well. However, all of that information is all saved securely online, a um, bit like your online filing cabinet. So it's all stored in there. And then yeah, we have a fill. You go, Ben. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got that on that filter on the side here as well. Um, so you can go through, check all your approved applications, um, and it's all yeah, all stored in there. Um, and anyone who has access to their Creditor Watch account will be able to come in here and um, access those applications. Yeah, awesome. Well, th thanks for the demo, Katie. And I am just very, very conscious of time now. I've got two minutes, and we've had heaps of questions that have come through. I might just try and answer a couple. Um, Okay, so one person asked, I said before we, um, where is it, sorry, I lost it there. Okay, cool. So is the form templated or is it customized to our application? So um, yeah, it, it's completely customized to your application. It's We don't have a set template. It is, it's your application. You send that through to us and we've developed it off the back of that. And there was a follow-up question to that from, um, from Gay in regards to, uh, guarantees, we can include your director guarantees or personal guarantees within the process. So they can simply download your file, wet signature, uh, and then uh, append it back into your application, and that'll come through to, um, th back through to you in the application. Apologies to Sarah, Gavin, Marianne, Rebecca. Um, we will get back to you with, with the questions that you've asked. Um, we've got one minute to go. Uh, is there any final thoughts from you guys, any, any top tips? Keep it to one sentence only, and we'll um, we'll end with a poll. Yeah, sure. Um, my top tip would probably be don't be scared to use this opportunity to, um, I guess, make the questions that you're asking from your applicants simplify them and be concise because you don't you want to make that the process as easy as possible, and then that way you can um, reassure them that applying with you is it's not going to be a burden and hold up the process because. Um, Everybody wants everything now, they want it quickly, and they don't have two weeks to wait for a lengthy application process. So yeah, definitely, definitely clean it up. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of questions that I'd go through with my clients that um, information they used to collect that they don't actually use anymore. So it's a great time to admit that and um, yeah, clean it up and make it a nice streamlined process. Awesome. So what, what I'm going to do now, thanks for that, Kate, and I'm just, just going to launch a poll. Um, if you'd like to be contacted by us about Apply Easy or even just Credit Watch as a whole, please do let us know and we'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, and with the questions as well, we will get back to you. I know there's some questions around pricing, uh, so don't worry. <laughs> we will let you know. We'll get back to you. So, Okay, great. So that concludes today's webinar. We hope you enjoyed it and we thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you ask to be contacted by us, we will certainly get back to you and also we'll get back to you on the questions that we couldn't answer today. Thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you on the next one. See you later. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, everybody.